This video is brought to you by Draeger's Classics. Draeger's Clubhouse in Seattle, Washington. Before us we have a 1965 Mustang convertible. It's A-Code 289 automatic power steering manual brake car. Power convertible top. It's got the styled steel wheels on it and it's got a beautiful paint job. You can see the reflection in the paint. There's no wrinkles in it anywhere. It's, it's a very nice paint job and the body is very straight. Hopefully this video is steady enough you can you can see the detail of it. It's just a nice car. Even the uh, drain vents are in both rear quarters. The back end of this Mustang is just as nice as the rest of the car. Paint is beautiful back here too. The bumper's chrome is in great shape. You can see it's got the uh, GT style exhaust coming through the rear valance. Everything is straight as can be on this car. It's beautiful. The trunk on the 65 convertible. It's got the heavy duty trunk mat in it, the rubber molded mat. It's got a new extension board. All the metal looks good in here. New gas tank. We do have a spare tire for this. It's sitting on the ground. Uh, I need to find a tire cover for it. I think we've got a new one in the bag. There's a bottle jack down in there, and the metal looks good on this side too. And there's another view of the tank. And there's the spare tire. It's not real pretty, but it'll get you by. Here's the passenger side of the car. You can see the nice styled steel wheels and new, new rubber on those wheels. Chrome and the trim on this car is very nice. As you can see, the reflection, you don't see any waves in the lighting when I'm going by. It's just a very nice paint job. A very straight body. Here's the front end of the car. We had Joe at Old School Garage put a new bumper on it for us. The old one had a little bit of Pitting in it. Uh, I think it had a little crease in it too, but this one's brand new. Just a nice car. It's a driver's side door panel. There's the dash. All the gauges work. Uh, temp gauge and the fuel gauge. Odometer, speedometer. I think if I turn this thing on, I'll show the oil light and alt light work. I just tried the radio. It does not work, but the dash is in great shape. There's a glove box door. There's no cracking in the uh, dash pad at all. It's in great shape. Color's good on it. It's not sun damaged at all. Interior on this Mustang is in great shape. The seats are in great shape. No tears. Color's good, no sun damage. I tell you the carpet might be a little faded. Um, it looks a little lighter in some spots, but it's still got a lot of color to it. You can see we got uh, seat belts front and rear. Rear seat's in great shape too. There's the rear carpet. Seat backs are nice. Got nice sill plates in here. It might not show up all that well with all the light on them, but uh, they're in great shape. Give you another shot from the passenger side door panel on in. New sill plates. See how nice the carpet is. Seats are in great shape. Again, we got seat belts front and rear. There's 
another shot of the dash I mean it's it's pretty there's been some touch-up work underneath the odometer there it looks like but I don't know if you'll be able to see that from here but another shot of the carpet and the dash and there's seats and they're in great shape you can see the seat backs are all in good shape show you this top how easy they operate just pull the convertible top boot up real fast get these protector pads out of their way usually i just leave the boot laying down in the back seat you can put it away in the trunk if you want just get in the car pull the lever up it goes oops i forgot to take that pad off that side Catch it when it comes down here. Oh, there it goes. And that's basically all it is. All it takes to put the top up. You just gotta latch it down here with two latches on each side of the windshield. And that's all there is to it. I'll show you putting this top down. You gotta get inside, unlatch the top on both sides, then push the latches back. And then push down on the lever. It's always a good idea to get out and make sure that your rear windshield doesn't have any wrinkles in it. When you pull it down so it doesn't get any crease marks in it. These Mustang tops work very nice. I mean, they, they go up and down very fast. And you can do it all by yourself. You don't need any help. All you got to do is put the top boot back on, on it and you're done. Convertible top on this car is very nice. It's not brand new or anything. Uh, we had to have it uh, detail a little bit. As you can see, it's a little wrinkly. Um, if you had it out in sunshine, all those wrinkles would come out. It's about 50 degrees here, and the top's been down a long time, so it tends to wrinkle up when you have it down like that. But. It's in good shape though. There's no tears in it anywhere. We don't take these things out in the rain either to find out if they leak, but this one's in great shape. I wouldn't think you'd have any problem with it at all. And it it seals down good on the on the front edge here. Here's the 289 V8. It's got a new Holly four barrel on it. Chrome valve covers. New plug wires. It looks like the radiator was recently replaced too because it's got decals on it and all the hoses look like they're fresh. Here's a shot of the uh, 289 from the passenger side with the air cleaner back on it. All the parts in this engine look like they were replaced when they had the engine apart. You can see a new alternator down there. It's like a new starter solenoid. There's the power steering pump over there. Shot of the back end with the engine running. Sounds nice. A little bit of condensation coming out of the tailpipe. Got the door open right now and it's uh, about 50 degrees in the shop here, but uh, this thing sounds great. I'm a senior. I want to make a quick uh, announcement that this uh, Mustang has a 302 rebuilt long block with about a thousand miles on it. Just That 
was a fast ride across the sound back to Edmonds. It's really fun to uh, drive these cars to Joe at Old School Garage. You know, it's a 40, 50 mile drive and you get the ferry ride in it both ways and it just gives you a really good chance to understand the car and know how well it runs and drives. This is an absolutely stunning uh, Mustang and I gotta tell you, whoever buys it will enjoy it a lot. Have you seen the mural or photos of it? This is the view. The building on your right, right there is in the mural. The theater right there is in the mural. The mural is from 1930. No trees were in there at this point in time. Anyway, I just thought you'd enjoy this little spot. I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them. And if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.